Hello, Marcus Pearce here in the kitchen of the beautiful five-star spa chef, Sam Gowie. How are you, Sam? I'm great, Marcus. Thank I'm you great. so much Thanks. for letting me in again. We are here as we are preparing for Exceptional Food Health Wealth, our special one-day event at the beautiful QT on the Gold Coast, Saturday, March 28th. And in the lead-up, we've been doing a number of videos about food. And Sam, one of the most loved foods, but almost um, scared, foods that scares people more than anything, is the very humble but very exquisite pomegranate. Absolutely. And we are going to smash the pomegranate myth to shreds. Absolutely. And you're going to explain how you actually yeah. deal with a pomegranate. So they're such an ancient food. This is one of the most powerful aphrodisiac foods. Yeah, they are. They are beautiful. I wasn't going to use the aphrodisiac food. Oh, I, had to, but I dropped the A-bomb, didn't yeah. I, brother? So Cleopatra allegedly used to bathe in milk, as you might know, but also perfume with pomegranates. Mm. So this is one of the most ancient foods, and they're such a special food. I'm going to show you how to release the seeds. Now, my friend showed me this one of my sous chefs, and she is an absolute delight. All you do is cut your pomegranate open. You can just take the lid off if you prefer. Before I do that, I just wanted to explain where the vitamin C mostly lives. So this is the bioflavonoid, the pith. Right. And the pith is really important. So we still want to have elements of the pith. If you're using this in a smoothie or you're pureeing it, put a little bit of the pith in, not too much because it gets a bit kind of flowery. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, flowery, fibrous in, slightly bitter. But all you do to release the seeds is grab a glass oh, and a wooden spoon and you can just start to smack your pomegranate as you squeeze it around the outside. Now it depends on the ripeness how soft your pomegranate is. And how hard you bang it. And how hard you bang it. And this one's quite and hard. And how wide your glass is. And how wide your glass is. Dude, there's a lot of contributing yeah. factors, isn't yeah. there? You can give it a bit more of a shove, but I just wanted to give you an idea of you'll get, you'll immediately release the seeds without the pith. Now you can also do this backwards in a thermomix, as some of you will know. Mm. Or of course you can just do it using breaking it open and peeling like them the out. I, I like, like the, the break, break open. Method. It's a bit more get to I know like, your food style. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and as a parent of young kids, it's something that the kids yeah. love to get involved in too. But I often wonder, I'm freaking out when I'm doing this, going, hold on, that'll stain this and that'll stain yeah, that. Yeah, it does. Like, is it a stain, a yeah, high stain? Yeah, it is. It's a little bit like turmeric. Yeah. You know, this colour is used to make a um, kind of like a red cordial called grenadine, which you might yeah, know if you've yeah. ever mixed cocktails, that sort of thing. We also use oh, pomegranate. Is that pomegranate? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, we also use some um, pomegranate molasses, really? of course, which is a Middle Eastern, like a dark sauce. It looks like a balsamic paste, but it's really beautiful. So uh, pomegranates and lemons go very really beautifully together. And uh, yeah, pomegranates, I mean, it sounds so simplistic, but just... As it, it almost seems a little bit of a waste, but as just a snack, having the seeds, popping oh, them in your mouth, yeah. you know, sitting down just to like, you know, a drink. Like I know, I just love in our house, it's a bit weird, but we've got cranberry juice in the fridge yeah. and just cranberry juice, water, ice block, mint leaves as a little, as Beautiful. a drink. And then Gorgeous. pomegranate seeds Gorgeous. just as a, as a, just a little snack. Yeah. It's like Beautiful. simplistic. But delicious. Beautiful. You know what else you can do with them? If you've got a dehydrator, mine's literally just there. You can dehydrate these really? and then uh, process them into a fine powder. So you've got a beautiful um, garnish or a beautiful yeah. dust for some uh, Middle Eastern fish or chicken or a raw raspberry oh, tart. Chocolate cake. Raw chocolate cake, <laughs> absolutely. So you might do a raw key lime kind of um, tart baits with cashew nuts and so forth. Then just a little bit of pomegranate dust on the top will give a lovely sour, sweet, pick one awesome. flavour. So dehydrated course, pomegranate seeds. Pulverise if you've got something heavy duty, like thermo, a thermo, thermo, or Food even processor. the Vitamix, or in old school a mortar and pestle. Oh my gosh! And then you've got pomegranate dust. Wow! Which you can just boost flavour, and then of course add a beautiful bright red garnish. How good is she? To You're all incredible. Sorts of food is medicine 101. Mm. They're good, aren't they? Delicious. Thank the you jewels so of the much. East. Now, we are going to be sharing more of this beautiful wisdom. Well, Sam will be sharing all the pomegranate wisdom. I can only tell you how to eat them. But we are at the Gold Coast at the beautiful QT, Saturday, March 28th, for Exceptional Food Health Wealth. We would love to see you there. Tickets are just $97 from a 10 till 4, six hours of powerhouse wellness at the beautiful QT and the special birthday bash. If you choose to be a VIP, join Sam, myself, and friends for Sam's birthday bash on the Saturday night. 
Ticket details are below. We'd love to have you join us. Until next time, Sam, thank you so much. Thank you, Marcus. As always, may the rest of your life truly be the best of your life.